So a few days ago I uploaded the video with the best mount for each game. That video did very well. And a lot of you have left in the comment section a lot of other good options and tips regarding the caves on the island. But out of all of these suggestions given, two of them really piqued my interest. Because these might be better alternatives to what I've suggested. Let's check them out together. But before that, make sure you hit that subscribe button and help me reach my goal of 5000 subs by the end of the year. Okay, so the first truly problematic cave in the previous video was the Upper South Cave. Because not even sabers are able to exit the cave due to the small corridors. I advised you to breed a berry and drop down in the pit and just leave him in the cave after you get the artifact. But Rodrigo here asked me if the Megalania would be a good option. The Megalania has always been a decent cave mount, having decent health and stamina but weak attack and no jump ability. In a straightforward cave like the central cave, it's definitely worse than a mount with much more biting power like the berry Onyx. But in the upper south cave, its abilities really come in handy. Its biggest advantage is obviously the climb ability, which allows it to safely descend into the pit and then climb back up. This means that they can actually enter and exit the cave with no problems. Additionally, this gives you a strategic advantage against the other creatures in the cave, allowing you to safely kill them with ranged weapons while hanging from the wall. The bats will still give you nightmares, since the Megalania's damage is trash, and they're pretty hard to hit with ranged weapons. The climbing ability also allows you to climb to the shortcut and go straight to the artifact from the ruin chamber. This can also be done with grappling hooks. Now, even though the Megalania is a decent swimmer, I advise you against going through the underwater tunnels. Because the Megalania simply cannot fight the amount of piranhas and sarcos that you will find in those tunnels. Now, in my opinion, the Megalania is just as good as an option as the Berry. Yes, you cannot actually exit the cave on the Berry Onyx, but it's way better for fighting. And it's a lot easier to find and tame one. Plus, it gives you access to the underwater loot crates. Megalanias are very rare on the island spawning just inside 4 caves, so the chances to find a good one and tame it are pretty slim, and finding 2 good ones to breed requires an insane amount of luck. But even then, the piranhas are still a legit threat because your attack is terrible. But even worse, the sarcos can grab you off the saddle, especially when you have to enter the shortcut and you have to get close to the water. Be careful with that, otherwise it's pretty much GG. As a side note, the climb ability is just as useful in the snow cave, where you can use this instead of the Spider-Man tactic. According to somebody in the comments, passing the narrow passages requires baiting all the creatures using grenades. But I would still rather use the Utyranus method, as it is way less micro-intensive and requires a lot less preparation, which makes it noob friendly. But if the first option was debatable, the second is not. The next cave that we're gonna talk about is the Swamp Cave. Going from the Megatherium to the Baryonyx is a big downgrade in terms of stats, but somehow I failed to consider the big monkey for this cave. This mount is superior in every aspect to the Baryonyx regarding this specific cave. Better AoE, better health, better damage, better knockback, and can almost access the artifact chamber. So yeah, this one is probably the current best thing you can use in the Swamp Cave. Plus, you have a pretty clear shot if you want to use ranged weapons off its back. The only disadvantage is that you have to tame one specifically for this cave. The Baryonyx is the best for at least 3 other caves, and it's usable in almost all the caves on the island. So if you already have one, you might as well use that thing. But if you already tamed one, or if you totally love the Gorilla, yeah, it's a totally viable cave mount, and the current best for the Swamp Cave. There was one more thing that piqued my interest in the comments, which says that neither the Aranio nor the Arthropleura draw aggro from the creatures inside the snow cave. Uh, I gave this a try and I can confirm that I was attacked by the first creatures that saw me in the cave. So yeah, this one doesn't work in Ascended. But yeah, thanks to your comments, we found two new extraordinary mounts for two of the harder caves on the island. Thank you guys for watching, give the video a like and tell me in the comments what other guides should I make for Ark Survival Ascending. Until next time, Spartagus out.